Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating an Azure Virtual Machine Scale Set in Azure. A Virtual Machine Scale Set in Azure is a service that allows you to deploy and manage a group of identical load balanced virtual machines. Virtual Machine Scale Sets automatically increase the number of virtual machine instances as application demand grows and decrease the number as demand drops according to a defined schedule. Azure supports two primary scaling strategies, vertical scaling and horizontal scaling. Vertical scaling involves adjusting the capacity of an individual resource. For example, you might upgrade a virtual machine to a more powerful configuration or downgrade it to a less powerful one. Note that vertical scaling is limited by the maximum available instance size and may require downtime during resizing. Horizontal scaling means increasing or decreasing the number of instances instead of changing the size of a single one. Adding instances is known as scaling out while removing instances is called scaling in. In simple word, vertical scaling involves increasing the capacity of a single virtual machine while horizontal scaling involves adding more virtual machines to handle the load. VM scale sets in Azure use horizontal scaling to automatically distribute the load across a group of virtual machines. In this video, we will use the Azure portal to create Azure Virtual Machine Scale Set. While creating the VM Scale Set, we can specify the number of virtual machines and their size, as well as preferences for Azure Spot instances, Azure Managed Disk and Allocation policies. Log into the Azure portal. Go to portal.azure.com and sign into your account. Ensure your account has sufficient privileges to create an Azure VM Scale Set. Under Azure Service, Click on Virtual Machines. This will open the Virtual Machines page. Click on Create and then select Virtual Machine Scale Set. Several settings must be configured to create an Azure Virtual Machine Scale Set. Select the relevant subscription and the resource group. You can choose an existing resource group or create a new one for your VM Scale Set. For this example, I have already created a resource group named VMSS-TestRG. Enter a name for the VM scale set and select the desired region that is close to your location and availability zone. In our example, let's give name test VM as a 01 and region is going to be East US. You can optionally specify an availability zone in which you want to deploy your scale set. Since this is a test environment, I'll select the none option. Now select the orchestration mode which decides how the scale set manages the virtual machines. In flexible orchestration mode, you manually create and add virtual machines of any configuration to the scale set. In uniform mode, you define a virtual machine model and Azure automatically generates identical instances based on that model. For this VM scale set, we will select the flexible orchestration mode. Under security type, select trusted launch virtual machines. Next, configure the scaling settings. With the manual scaling option, you manually set the number of VM instances. You specify the desired number of instances and Azure maintains that count. This option is useful for predictable workloads or testing environments. With the automatic scaling option, Azure automatically increases or decreases the number of VM instances based on defined rules or matrix. Triggers can include CPU usage, memory usage, queue length or custom matrix. This option is ideal for dynamic workloads that fluctuate throughout the day. In this mode, you define scale-in and scale-out rules, thresholds, cooldown periods and instance limits. With the no scaling profile option, you can manually attach virtual machines to the VM scale set after the deployment. In this example, I'll use manual scaling mode. In the next video, we will learn how to create a rule that automatically scales out and scales in a virtual machine scale set. Next, configure the instance count to specify the number of virtual machines in the scale set. For this example, let's set the initial instance count to 1. You can set this number as high as 1000. Next, we need to select an image for this VM scale set. You can deploy a scale set with a Windows Server image or Linux image such as RGL or Ubuntu. 
We are using the Ubuntu Server 2204 LTS Gen 2 image along with the free Azure VM size standard B1S for this virtual machine scale set. Be sure to select the VM size that best fits your organization's requirements. Under administrator account, select password. The SSH public key option is recommended, but for this example, I'll select the password option. Set up administrator account credentials to access the VM. First, enter the name of administrator account. Now type and retype the password for the admin account. Make sure the password is at least 12 characters long and meets the complexity requirements. Select next spot to move to the spot virtual machine configuration options. For this test scale set, leave the default spot configurations and select next to proceed to the disk configuration options. You can see the OS disk details based on your selected VM size. If needed, you can add additional data disk to this VM scale set. Leave to default and click next. Now define network connectivity for your virtual machine by configuring the network interface card settings. By default, the associated virtual network, subnet and network interface are automatically created with this VM scale set. To make changes, click the edit link if required. We will leave them as they are. Network interface enables a VM to communicate with other VMs, internet and on-premises servers. By default, the virtual machines we created in Azure are not accessible over the internet for obvious security reasons. However, we can override this by opening an inbound port. For example, let's say we want to access the VM over the internet using SSH. For this, we need to open the SSH inbound port. If this port is not open, you won't be able to connect to the VM using SSH. Click on the pencil icon under Network Interface section. Under Public Inbound Ports, select Allow Selected Ports. From the drop-down menu, select the checkboxes for SSH and HTTP. Make sure public IP address is set to Enabled. Without this, we won't be able to communicate with this virtual machine from the outside the virtual network. With this configuration, we are essentially opening port 22 for SSH and port 80 for web service communication. Click OK. Configure a load balancer if you want to balance incoming traffic across the VM instances, especially useful in uniform mode. Click Next. On the Management tab, scroll down to the bottom. We are going to modify the Guest OS Updates settings. From the drop-down menu, select the Image Default option. You should keep the default option selected for Guest OS Updates, but I am changing it so we don't have to configure the health-related settings. Let me show you that. Go to Health tab. If you don't select that option, then you have to compulsory enable Application Health Monitoring. To keep this video simple, I have selected that option. Now go to Tags tab. Enter a tag name and its corresponding value. When done, select Review plus Create. Wait for the validation to complete. If the validation passes successfully, we are ready to create the VM scale set. If validation is failed, then review the mandatory parameters that are not defined or required. In our case, the validation was successful. Review your selections before creating the VM scale set. If everything looks good, click the Create button to deploy a new VM scale set in Azure. It can take anywhere from 2 to 5 minutes to deploy the VM scale set. Wait for the VM scale set deployment to complete. Click on Go to Resource. We have successfully created an Azure VM scale set with Linux VM. We can see the overview information of our VM scale set. Once your VM scale set is deployed, you can connect to any VM instance in the set. Navigate to the VM scale set resource page and verify the running instances. Click on Instances. Depending on your configuration, you might initially see one or two VM instances. Under Instances, select the VM instance. Verify all properties of the VM including resource group, location, VM size and family and operating system type. If each instance has its own public IP, retrieve the IP for the specific instance. Look it and copy the public IP address. Open the Run menu, type CMD and press Enter. At the command prompt, type SSH MSFT admin at now press the copied IP address and hit enter to connect to a Azure Linux VM. 
Type yes and press enter key. You are now successfully connected to your Linux VM using SSH. Remember, this Linux VM is a part of Virtual Machine Scale Set. This is how we can deploy Virtual Machine Scale Set in Azure. That's all for this video on how to create an Azure Virtual Machine Scale Set in Azure. In the next video, we will create a rule to automatically scale out and scale in a virtual machine scale set. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.